Dobri Dan. Let me begin by thanking Jakub Klepo, Executive Director of this forum, for providing me the opportunity to speak at this conference and to express my utmost respect for late President Václav Havel. Decades after he left power, President Havel continues to inspire the world through his belief in democracy. I'm proud to say that for generations, the people of Taiwan have shared the same vision with President Havel and strive to create a decent and responsible democracy on this island. 2020 is laden with formidable challenges. The COVID-19 global pandemic presents both risks and opportunity. At the onset of the pandemic, the government of Taiwan quickly identified transparency as the key component in our anti-pandemic measures. And we have never deviated from democratic principles throughout the course of the fight against the virus. Taiwan's success in containing the pandemic has earned us the confidence and support of our people, as well as recognition and trust from countries worldwide. The Taiwan model stands as a proof of the efficiency and effectiveness of a democracy in face of major crisis. We are ready to support the international society in the post-pandemic era. We are willing and able to help with the UN anti-pandemic efforts and are eager to share the successful Taiwan model for combating COVID-19 with the world. We can also contribute much to the realization of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Enterprises around the world have come to realize the danger of over-reliance on specific sources for critical supplies, and Taiwan wishes to work with the business community to restructure international supply chains and enhance its resilience. A month ago, we had the honor to welcome a delegation from the Czech Republic to Taiwan, led by President of the Senate, Milos Vistercho. I would like to thank President Vistercho for courageously carrying out this trip, despite tremendous pressure. The people of Taiwan truly admire his decisiveness and insistence in honoring President Havel's spirit and democratic values. During President Vistercho's stay, high-level government officials, enterprises, and civil society groups from our two sides discuss a wide range of issues including enhancing democracy and the rule of law, bolstering bilateral economic and trade cooperation, as well as facilitating technological and cultural exchanges. I would like to commend the Czech Republic for taking the lead and setting an extraordinary example of supporting and connecting with Taiwan. Going forward, we will follow such model to seek deeper engagement with the world. The road to recovery is long and difficult. Democratic systems will continue to be confronted with threats, and that includes threats to rule-based orders. Taiwan is on the front line of authoritarian aggression, and we understand our responsibility as an outpost of democracy in this part of the world. We have stood firm in face of military coercion and economic threats. We will continue to do so as underlined by the theme of this conference. This is the time for solidarity. Democracies and all like-minded countries must work together to fend off malicious forces seeking to overturn democratic institutions worldwide. Our two countries may be geographically far apart, but we are bound by shared values and visions. Earlier this year, the Czech Republic was the first in the EU to have issued a joint statement of epidemic prevention partnership with Taiwan. We look forward to forming a strong alliance with your country in the fight against the pandemic. I would like to thank President Vistercho again for his efforts in bringing our two peoples closer. You can count on Taiwan as your steadfast supporter toward joint prosperity and the maintenance of a free and open society. Together, we will uphold the legacy of President Havel and we will recover better together. Thank you.